What is going on guys? Ryan from Living Salty here and I am here at the Palm Beach Boat Show 2022 and I'm currently here on the 33 foot black field. So when I was walking past the Blackfin booth, this 33 foot center console really caught my eye just because of the amount of things there were. You know, it just seemed like there was little cubbies and stuff like that everywhere. And it turns out that this boat actually won the Innovation Award back in 2019. So it's super cool to see this boat here. This is 2022, like I said, 33 foot Blackfin. Now I'm gonna be doing a little bit of walkthrough for you guys to show off the rest of the boat. I'm currently kind of hiding behind the windshield because it is an extremely day, extremely windy day. Can see that so I apologize if the audio sounds a little windy um, but I'm gonna do my best to, sh um, to still film a really good walkthrough of this boat for you guys okay so we're gonna be starting in the stern of the boat over here and this is the first thing that caught my eye it's honestly that beautiful blue color blue is actually my favorite color so it really caught my eye in the color matching with the motors and then as I got a little closer I got to see those double cooler slide out pulling out instead of horizontally it's vertically like or you know what I mean it's it's got two coolers parallel to each other and pull straight out and it just seemed like there was a ton of stuff the sinks the cabins the live wall over there it just seemed like there was a ton of stuff and I saw this walking by I'm like you know what I gotta stop I gotta do a walkthrough of this boat for you guys so let's hop on in and just turn the boat I've always really liked the Blackfin boats ever since I first saw them at a boat show. I always thought they were super neat, super different, and they just weren't kind of a copycat of all the other boat brands. So I thought they were super unique. And yeah, let's dive right into this. So we're gonna work our way up to the windy bow over here first, so we can take a look over there. Guys, this wind is insane today. Okay, so starting up here in the bow of the boat, as always, we have our anchor well up in the front. Here's our anchor well with our windlass over here. Nice big anchor well. We got two cleats up here in the front, as well as cup holders that are doubling as rod holders. So you guys are gonna have your rods up here to pitch to mahi and everything like that. And it looks like you have another one over here. Yep, another cup holder rod holder over here. Same thing on the other side. Like I said, that is fantastic. From a first glance, you'd think that those weren't uh, rod holders, but they are, which is fantastic. Really nice to see, good job on that black fin. So if we look over here in the front, we have a nice U-shaped seating over here with some nice back cushions. And these do flip open to become wells. You can use it for dry storage or you can throw some fish in there. Let's see how far back they go. They go pretty, it looks like they actually go up and around. They go up and around this front console over here. So you guys have plenty of room to throw plenty of fish in there. And yeah, very nice well. All right, so another cool feature that we're seeing with a lot of these boats here at the boat show is to have the backrest either be able to be put in this position or you can take it out of that position and put it off here to the side. That way it's out of the way for you and you can either have a nice relaxing backrest over here or it can be completely out of the way. You don't have to worry about bumping into it or anything like that. Now if you look down here, we have a nice big storage. Just like that, a big old container for storage. Uh, they got a lot of stuff in here right now, so I'm not sure. It probably has a drain in it. So you'll be able to put fish in there if you want, use it as a fish box, or you can use it as dry storage. Now, if we look over here, we have a huge, huge coffin lounge seating over here with a cooler, or not a cooler, storage down here. So we're gonna lift this up, nice hydraulics holding that up. Underneath here, we got huge storage. Looks like there's bucket storage and everything with these plastic things. Like I said, they got a lot of stuff in here right now, so it's not the easiest to see. Lots of stuff in here though, lots of storage. Very easy to open close. We have a nice looking glass windshield over here off to the side, along with, I'm gonna assume is life jacket storage over here. Hey right, guys, look over here, we can open this on up. And then we have storage for rod holders, and it looks like other tackle and other stuff over there. Nice amount of storage. And they have this storage area on both sides, so it's also right over here. One thing that is super unique about Blackfin boats is this patent pending door that they have over here. So this is almost, guys, this is really cool looking. It almost looks like a vault door. Can I see it? Clear it up for you. Just like that. It's a huge door here, let me. So it opening closes. A little squeaky, 
but just like that. And to be honest, guys, I think this vault door is a little bit overkill. I don't think you really need something that big. You know, I think a regular door would be sufficient, but it does look really cool and it adds like a unique characteristic to Blackfin boats. So let's check out the cabin in here. Very nice clean cabinet, access to all your electronics and stuff over here. You got your fuses and everything over here. Nice sink area, steps along with your ladder. Nice convenient spot. It even looks like, you know what? No, let's hop in. Let's hop in there. Okay, we are now inside the cabin, out of the wind, fantastic. And we got tons of room, you guys can see here. If you guys watch my videos in the past, I'm 5'10", I always say that while I'm standing inside of a boat cabin. And I got plenty of room to my head over here. So I wanted to hop in here to actually take a look. Okay, there's a little bit of a bed. Um, either a very small person would be sleeping in this bed or a dog or something like that. <laughs> I don't really know or it could just be for cushion storage or something but um, a little bit you know it's unique that they use the underneath of the coffin area over there and put um, you know some cushion storage or something like that over here and I'm sitting here right next to the head too so <laughs> putting my hand on it probably shouldn't be <laughs> overall very nice cabin you know not too much in here but they still added a ton of extra space and stuff for carrying all your stuff okay back out into the wind <laughs> so it looks like those cup holder rod holder storage is going to be throughout the boat here so we have another one here cup holder rod holder back there looks like there's two of them and there's another two of them right there and one right there so they chose the option of going with all cup holder rod holder um, duos on this boat instead of just rod holders cup holders separately or a couple of each or however they wanted it they just went all out cup holder rod holder all right, time to take a look at the helm station over here. So I'm standing here at the helm, and this is what we got. Very nice, all black. We got a nice leather touch on the steering wheel over here. All your gauges and everything over here. Two nice big garments and joystick cup holders, everything like that. Nice, um, not sure what the material is, but a nice material here. Along with your windshield is way back, guys. This is my arm length. And you still got way more room so you guys can throw all of your phones and all that kind of stuff your camera equipment if you guys are also youtubers you can throw it all back there plenty of storage in here for you it looks like this might be an adjustment for your vhf radio i'm going to assume you guys look up here we got a little bit of storage we got a little storage up there you know you can throw anything that you really want to keep dry maybe you guys want to throw your phones up there or something like that Maybe that would be a good spot to keep your fishing licenses. You can just keep it on the boat, forget about it. Um, that way you don't have to worry about bringing it or forgetting it. You guys look right above me. We got life jacket storage over here. Right, now if we come over here, I was told this is very difficult to open. So I will try my best for you guys. There we go. Okay. Right, there we are. We have another step over here. So now we can step up. Now, our point of view is very high. And you guys can see plenty over the bow like this. And plenty, we'll get a little 360 around the boat. Very nice, very nice. Okay. So you guys might notice something over here. There's a switch underneath that says helm seat and it says forward and aft. So if you guys look under the seat right here, you guys see this looks like a track. So all these seats are actually on a track and you can press that button. I don't think the battery switch is on because I tried pressing it, it's not doing anything. But these seats right here are going to move forward and backwards. That way you can sit closer to the steering wheel. So one thing when you guys are, you know, everyone has different heights, right? So some people could sit up on the seat and put their feet up on this over here, but some people can't reach. So you can adjust the seats forward and backwards to accommodate people of different sizes, which I think is really cool. And the only thing similar, actually, you know, I've never seen anything like that. I've never seen seats that are adjustable forward and backwards. So that's a super cool, innovative feature that Black Tip has included on this, or sorry, Black Fin. That Black, <laughs> Black Fin has included on this boat. And the seat of choice on this one was triple bucket seats. You can put them down. They're not really a bench seat because they have a, hump, a little hump here in the middle. But, you know, as always, you can have it in this position or you can have it in that position, however you like it. Okay, and as we work our way to the stern of the boat, you guys are going to see tons of little hatches and stuff like that and just stuff everywhere. So we have first, over here, we have tackle storage. 
and then you open up the bottom half and we got access to our batteries just like that and we have the same thing on the starboard side of the boat right there tackle storage right there and batteries down there so you look under the starboard side gunnels over here we have a spot to put your boat brushes and that kind of stuff boat poles and we do not have that on the port side of the boat because instead on the port side of the boat, we have our dive door over here. So you can open up this dive door. It's gonna to swing to the right, right where that black fin logo is. And you can jump off, you can swim um, and do whatever you need to do and use this as your dive door. Now, if you guys look over here, this is an accessory. I like, honestly, I wish they could sell and then I would love to buy it and put it on our boat. But this is like a little, you know, cutty to put any, like, I don't know, I put sinkers and stuff like that in here if I were the owner of this boat. And over here, there's a bunch of little holes and you guys can hang your lures and stuff like that over here to dry. Really neat. And like I said, I wish we could buy one of those and put it on our boat because that would be really neat to have. And there's also another one of these on the starboard side of the boat. Okay, so if we look in the back over here, like I said, there's just a lot going on. We've got the two coolers coming over here. They look like they're going to about the latch the cooler just slides out just like that and we got two of them just slide it back in perfect we got a drawer over here which is a garbage can very nice the live wall over here has a beautiful aquarium style um, glass you guys can check on your baits very easily since the top is not see-through check that out nice big live wall come over here we have a sink cup holders raw water over here fresh water over here along with another sink we got some more storage over here to the side some pull-out drawers right there along with right over there we have this very cool kind of like a trapezoid area for the poles I'm really I'm really liking this design it's a very sweet innovative going to get in the way of the t-top because the t-top is cut out so won't get in the way one thing i did just notice is that this has some non-skid deck material and so does this bar over here and this latch opens up so this entire thing is going to open up and then you'll be able to climb up on here to get on top of your t-top i'm assuming that this boat has an option for a tower the boat doesn't have a tower currently on it but um you'll be able to access your tower probably through these steps over here this boat is equipped with jail audio speakers over here, over here. There's a bunch in the front. Speakers are everywhere, guys. Jail audio is on like all the boats here at the boat show. Um, really nice sound system. Okay, so I'll check out. We got two fish wells on the ground over here. One over here and one over here. I got this one closed. I opened up this one for you guys. You guys can check. It goes back there. Nice size fish well. We'll hold all your big wahoo, kingfish, dolphin, all that kind of stuff you guys catch. And look at that, guys. Nice black storm clouds are on their way, so I'm going to wrap up this walkthrough really quickly. Close this hatch up. You guys, look over here. We have another live wall. Nice big live wall. Really love this glass um, here to view your bait and everything like that. And on the other side, the other side, we have our door. What I call the tuna door, you kind of just slide your fish right in the back. Also access to your swim platform back there. All right, so I'm going to open up this back hatch for you guys. This is going to be our build access. Right over here. Take a look. This boat looks like it's definitely been used, probably been to a couple boat shows before. It's got a little water in it and stuff, but very big open area to access all your builds needs. Like I said, guys, I've said in a couple videos, our build is very hard to access. So this is nice and easy um, to do anything you want to do, any sort of maintenance. Very nice area over here. Okay, so you guys notice this little black fin seat set up over here. We're actually going to open that up for you. So with ease, we'll be able to pull this on open. Just like that. Flip up the headrest and then there we go. We have a nice seating option here in the back. Ah, guys, I don't know what happened, but I was just looking over this footage and uh, my GoPro just cut out in the middle of that last clip. So I lost the rest of the boat walkthrough, which wasn't much more in my outro. So I'm just going to voice over the rest of this for you guys. So this boat was powered by Mercury 450. So you don't have to worry about this boat being a slow boat it is going to fly through the water. I'm not sure what top speed is exactly, but it's probably somewhere in the 60s mark or around that area. 
So this boat, this exact boat at the boat show is going to run you $570,000. So for $570,000, this 2022 33 foot blackfin boat could be yours with all these extras. This boat was super cool and really caught my eye because of all the innovative features that it has. All those special cabins and those double coolers and everything that it has just really stood out to me and it definitely made me have to stop and make a walkthrough of this boat for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed and if you did, please hit that like button and consider subscribing it down below. It really helps me out a lot and allows me to keep making videos just like this for you guys. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you check out the video on the left side of the screen. It is another video from the Palm Beach Boat Show, another walkthrough, and I really think you guys would enjoy it. Alright guys, until my next video, remember to keep living salty. Bye.